Best raise my hood here.
Ortis Orte Orte. Le rape as in don strate. La ya rabega. This is your last warning. Give me Alfred's trinket or I'll piddle in your pond. You seem agitated. What gave it away? The fact that I had to debase myself pissing in this swindler's pond? Or the angry shouting? This man has something of yours? And here's another godsend to shit in my stew pot. Sod off unless you are going to magic Alfred's jewel out your arse. Bye. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, it might be worth a pretty penny. Give me the jewel, Alfred, Commission! Alfred's jewel, you damn scoundrel! We have already paid for it! By God's hairy balls, you are a thief and a swindler! Give me the jewel, Alfred Commission! I'm not your enemy, yet. But that man outside certainly wants Alfred's jewel. Oh, Jesus wept upon the Holy Cross! Fuck off the both of you! Alfred will get the jewel when I get what I'm owed! Peace, or you'll feel my blade in your guts. <laughs> Sorry, my beef is not with you. I only ask for what coin is fair. It cost me double to make over what was agreed. I have a wife to feed. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, then on your life you'd be wise to deliver it for the agreed price. Mary on a donkey! You deserve the bloody thing. It's not worth my hide. Much as my wife would love to be a widow. your jewel. Well, I didn't ask for your help, but I am glad of it. Alfred commissioned this rare thing. How rare? Filigreed gold. 
centered with a rock crystal and enamel plaque, a miniature of our most beatific Lord, Jesus Christ, and... And you're going to just keep it, aren't you? I am. And I have to tell the king I let a Dane steal his gift to his wife. You do. And also this. Every treasure he has, I'll take. Every poet who writes him into song will sing threefold of me, because we are Vikinger, and this green and pleasant land will be ours. Bollocks. Burn the treasure, and we will forget we met! Stop following me, or the duel will not be the only thing you will lose Hold today. splinters from the cross! All right, take it!
eyes open.
challenge me? You're pretty cocksure for a child. You would be too if you had miracle legs. Miracle legs? They seem pretty normal to me, girl. Looks can be deceiving. Have you heard of the great Phidippides, the mighty hero of old? Ran all the way from Marathon to tell the king they won the battle. Then guess what happened? He only fell down dead. Dead? From running? It was very far. Girls can't fight. It's the rules. But like Phidippides, I'm going to be the fastest messenger who ever lived. So when the Norse defeat the Saxon armies, you'll quickly bear the bad news to your king. Them sissy britches. Fat chance. So do you want to race or not? I've beaten everyone else in the whole world. In that case, let's run. Let's see. You're pretty cocksure for a child. You would be too if you... Miracle legs. Looks can be dis... Ran all... Dead. It was very far. So when the Norse defeat the... Them sissy britches. In that case... I grant you, but you will not outrun me. Let's see these miracle legs of yours. No other Saxon has been able to keep me on my toes like you, little one. I never thought I would be beaten, but you run like the wind. I'm glad I had a real challenge. And I'm glad to have given you one. Do you like interesting places? I've run all over Wessex, found some scary, spooky magic spots. <sighs> Exploring such is what I live for. I'll give you my diary. I call it the many wondrous runnings of the galloping miracle legs. Bye-bye.
I watched you on your approach. How must it feel not to carry the weight of years? I am not a child. Yet I see in you a child's blissful ignorance of the world's darkest truths. A fool. You gathered all this from a glance? In this way, I am wise. Perhaps you will learn better through flighting. I will challenge you. I accept, and I will place a wager on it. Here's my bet. You may begin. You are savage, uncouth, and care little for life. Like the rest of your kind, you breed misery and strife. Both your hands bear the blood of one thousand dead men. Well, perhaps they should have known not to challenge me then. A crude response. I am dismayed. It's a shame you're so calloused by warfare and pain. That you'll joke about death and treat life with disdain. Is it worth it? The killing, the torture, the slaves. Yes, I am ridding the world of cowards, weaklings, and knaves. It pains my ears. Yes, your avarice means that you'll just never see that this war will not grant immortality. You have one life to live, so why throw it away? You're naive if you think that there is any other way. Really? Terrible work. You are likely better at killing than flighting. I will keep your money. Come back when you've learned to speak. I watched you on your approach. How must it feel not to carry the weight of years? So sad to see how little you've learned from your losses. Will you fly it again? I will. Another wager. Here's my bet. You may begin. You are savage, uncouth, and care little for life. Like the rest of your kind, you breed misery and strife. Both your hands bear the blood of one thousand dead men.
to where blood is a joy. I'm quite striking in red. A crude response. I am dismayed. It's a shame you're so calloused by warfare and pain. That you'll joke about death and treat life with disdain. Is it worth it? The killing, the torture, the slaves. It is not mine to judge, only fill up the graves. <sighs> that was fine. Yes, your avarice means that you'll just never see that this war will not grant immortality. You have one life to live, so why throw it away? To ensure that I'll sit in Valhalla one day. Enough! I've heard more than my fill of your cruelty. Take your winnings. May spending them bring you fleeting joy. I promise it will. <laughs>